Hello, Ben Moore here from Training with BM, helping you to work smarter, not harder. And in today's video, I want to share with you a quick Chromebook tip that I found recently that saved me a lot of time, and I hope it will you as well. So just before I get started, if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please click that subscribe button below and turn on those notifications so you don't miss any future videos. So the tip I'm going to share with you today is how to create shortcuts on your Chromebook. So you've got your favorite websites appear in your quick launcher down here at the bottom of the screen. So the first thing you need to do is open up Google Chrome and go to the website in which you'd like to add to your quick launcher. So I'm going to open Wii Video here, which is a movie editing tool that you can use on Chromebooks and the one that I use to create all of my YouTube videos. So I use that quite a lot. So to add this as a shortcut or an icon down here on my quick launcher, what I need to do is go to the three dots or the traffic light menu in the top right hand corner of Chrome, go down to more tools and then click create shortcut. When I click create shortcut, it's going to ask me for the name of which I'd like to name the shortcut. So I'm going to leave that as Wii Video. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my app launcher. So click on the circle in the bottom left and the arrow. And you'll see I now have Wii Video appear in my application menu here. So all I need to do simply now is drag this down onto my quick launcher um, tab down here. And now I can rearrange all the icons however I'd like them to appear. So I'm going to leave Wii Video third there. Now just to prove to you this does work, I'm going to close off Chrome completely. So I'm going to close this tab. So Chrome is now completely closed. And I'm going to click on my Wii Video tab at the bottom of my screen here, which will take me directly to the page I was just on just a moment ago. So if it does require a login, if you've logged in recently, it should log you straight in. If not, it will ask you to log in using your Google account again. So hopefully you're going to find that useful. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Turn on those notifications. I'm going to drop a link to all my social medias in the description below. In the meantime, stay safe and I'll see you in my next video. Take care.